Boys in suburban Dixmore stunned to learn that they may not get their paychecks despite working all their shifts. This news came in a letter from the mayor blaming a disagreement with village trustees for holding up that payroll. WGN's Gaynor Hall is live in Dixmore with details. Gaynor. Yeah, Ray and Micah, the allegations are flying back and forth and Dixmore employees are caught in the middle. People are going through COVID. They have all other kind of issues. No employee, no employee should be working and not able to receive a paycheck. It's supposed to be payday, but for Dixmore employees, Friday could come with no pay. This is to me nothing but political. Mary Yvonne Davis sent a letter with the news yesterday. She blames village trustees who refused to confirm her appointment for the new treasurer. As far as I'm concerned, their goal is to see me fall thinking they're embarrassing me, but they're really an embarrassment to themselves. We demand as trustees that our employees get paid. Trustee Fitzgerald Roberts, who's running for mayor, says the board has not received enough information about how much the mayor's pick will be paid. He says Davis should resign. Earlier this year, it was revealed the mayor was overpaid more than $60,000 over two years. She says it was a payroll glitch and she's paying the money back. There's something with the finances going on here in the village of Dixmore. Now about 30 people, including office workers, public works employees, police officers, and even the elected officials aren't sure when they'll get a paycheck. It's messy and I feel like it's political on their behalf and it's unfortunate that the employees are suffering. I feel bad about that, but I can't do the payroll. It really hurts me to sit here and look at people like they work, they expect a paycheck, got people talking about getting payday loans. It just, it just doesn't add up. There is a virtual board meeting scheduled for tonight. The mayor says if they confirm the new treasurer, uh, paychecks may be processed as early as Tuesday. And the trustees we spoke with, though, say they are still looking to see if there's anything else they can do to get the paychecks cut for tomorrow. Reporting live from Dixmoor, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.